And the delays drag on from medical cannabis in Alabama. Today, a judge extended a pause on the licensing and delayed a hearing on the Open Meetings Act violation that was alleged by one of the companies denied a license. State Capitol reporter Matty Beer Temple is in Montgomery with the story. AMCC lawyers say the commission will vote to put a stay on the licensing process at their meeting this Thursday. Now that stay would be on top of the court ordered stay already in place. They say they'll then discuss how to move forward with a third round of license awards. Lawyers for the company Alabama always say they're encouraged by a third round of awards done in the open. The way that government in our country should work is that people should be given notice of what the government's doing and an opportunity to participate and respond. That's that's it. And I, and I am hopeful that the process is heading in that direction. Alabama always built a facility in Montgomery and was twice denied an integrated facility license. The AMCC score sheet shows them ranked 26 out of 38 applicants. Their objective at the end of the day is to get a license and they've they spent a lot of money. Meanwhile, other companies have joined the litigation. Verano, Alabama was awarded an integrated facility license the first time, but not the second. The score sheet shows them ranked number one. In their complaint to the court, Verano says they should get a license. Their CEO also sent a letter to Governor Kay Ivey saying they're, quote, ready, willing, and able to invest at least $40 million in Alabama. While the company's battle in court, Shay Garrigan with the Alabama Cannabis Industry Association says patients are waiting. I think it's very sad because nobody was there representing the patients. They were just there representing people that did not receive a license. The only thing people that are in pain right now want to know is when can I get my card? Now, Judge Anderson extended that temporary restraining order until September 6th. That's also when he'll hold that hearing on the Open Meetings Act issue. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.